Hey everyone, I'm Typhonus, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, this may be a shorter episode, longer episode, we'll see how it goes. Uh, just me and mom for now, I don't know if any of the kids are hopping on. Also, it's uh, still me dressed in my Battle Santa gear, um, with mom as my, uh, oh, what did I call her? Something my assassin, I don't remember what it was, but uh, yeah. So, I'm just going to continue on with my MSQ in this episode, and we're going to hop into it. Here we go. Okay, I am recording. How's it happen for you? I gotta talk to this person. <laughs> got a sneeze coming. Okay. Quest complete. <laughs> Ampador keep now accessible. Oh, is this a dungeon? Do I have to do this? You don't have to. I wanted oh. to do it because if I did it, it lets me do. Oh, this is the one that you want to do. This I'm is the reading. one you want to do, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me go complete these, and if we have time, we can uh, maybe we can run it. Okay. Where do we? Where, wait. I need to go back to Mordona. I'm gonna teleport there. What did I give you as your nickname, Mom? What did Battle Santa give you as your nickname? Assassin. My golden assassin, that's and right. Assassin. Okay. Um, oh, am I going to talk to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to talk to Minfilly again. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. Hey, William. What? Talking to Brennan. Oh, okay. Cat's being weird. I was eating chips. Yeah. And the the salt from the chips stings the inside of my mouth. <laughs> Isn't that just lovely? No, is that what? Why does it do that? Is that from the pill or your cancer I think stuff? Think it's from pills? the pills. Oh, how yeah. weird. I know. I was eating that uh, those fries, French fries with the malt vinegar, and I was mm -hmm. uh, I was like, man, this is gonna start burning soon. And I was like, I'm gonna get an ulcer from this. <laughs> I'm like, you might. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, you made me want to have some fries with. Oh, so good, so good. With my uh, basalmic uh, ketchup. Yeah, I was. He's like, um, uh, I was uh. Normally, we I I, I wanted to, like the authentic. Uh, um, I wanted that authentic uh, fair feeling, you know. So I put it in like a little cup mm -hmm. and put some vinegar on it, you know. And dip it in some ketchup well, and sure. like, this is good. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Um Yeah, it was pretty good. Greetings, Thomas. How was your Christmas tasty. party? It was really good, it was fun. Oh good. Where was it? Over at the shop? Yeah, we did it at the new place. Yeah. Okay. You guys just do it in the rooms? You yeah, well we did we did it in the or? we did it in the big um the uh uh showroom. We set out tables and stuff, and we got catering done, so. Oh, wow. Catering from who? Uh, Luigi's restaurant. Where's Luigi's? Here in PA. Well I'll, t I'll tell you where later. Okay. I don't want to tell you right now, because people will pinpoint where I'm at. All my fans will find me. Send it in the Discord chat, silly. That's at. Oh, okay. Is it pretty close to where you work? Ah, 15, 20 minutes away. Sloth Gordon might not find himself overwhelmed. Would you speak with him and see if he's aught he requires? Yes, sure. Was it good food? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Had like lasagna, um, some kind of like potatoes, kind of chicken, dad's favorite green beans. You know, Ooh. salad. Um, we played a game too, like everybody. There was like thirty of us there. 30, oh, wow. Thirty-five of us there. Like everybody came, pretty much. It was pretty cool. Nice. And then we um, we played a game where you uh, have you ever seen that game where I, I hadn't seen it? The end had told me about it. Where 
uh, you take a bunch of prizes and you wrap them in um, saran wrap, and then you have to unwrap it with mittens on, like mitt, like uh, oven mitts on. Okay, right. And the person, I think, it was to the left of us, or to the left of you. No, to the, the the person to the right of you was rolling dice, and when they got a double, you had to stop and give it to that. Like then they would get to get a turn to go. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Hmm. Yeah, and I got a couple uh, lottery cards. We didn't win anything. Got some candy and oh. stuff, so it was fun. I barely noticed your recruits had arrived. It was barely a trickle compared to the flood of treasure hunters that passed through here every day. It is more your burden that concerns me. I'm told this trial company will answer directly to the ante antecedent, so I trust that means less work for you in the long run. There's a lot more in the shipment. We couldn't. Uh oh. God's oh, woman, what befell? Weak off. We were bringing the shipment to her. <laughs> I was still asleep. Just picking this up one. And marked the. Okay, but just as we sought to cross over to Mordona, we were set upon brigands. I cough, cough. I believe they may have been heretics. Oh. There were many, too many. We only escaped their lives by abandoning the supplies. Pray, forgive us. I slowed down my dialogue thing a little bit because I was having trouble reading it ahead of time. Because sometimes there are dialogues okay. along those boxes. Yeah. Tend to those wounds. What to do? What to do? If heretics are involved, then this is likely like to be more than a case of simple thievery. Ishgar will need to be informed. Battle Santa's ready. Whence did these supplies originate? Emric liked Battle Santa, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Emric did, and so did, um, uh... A lady. Yeah, um, uh... I think I've just re been referring to her when I talked to Deanna's Grace. Oh, okay. Because her, like, name is something along that's Grace at the end. I've just been referring to her as Grace in our conversations. But she liked it too. She did not. She was not a fan of the the uh, the Santa outfit, though. <laughs> the the not my outfit. The the actual one, like the one you get for the event. Oh, yeah, well, she's very classic. Yeah. yeah, she said she's like it's just kind of okay, and I was like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. yeah. I I had to put my own twist on it. <laughs> okay, so now I need to go to. Uh, Dragonhead. I'm so close to getting out of this thing of things. Is that gonna put you where Ashley and I are at? Um, I think so. I'm, I should be getting close, yeah. Oh, you mean, you mean once I'm done with all this stuff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Uh, the yes. instruments of our deliverance, that's where we're at. I should be getting close to it, yeah. Once I'm done, oh wait, oops, I'm stupid. I was supposed what, to go down. I was supposed to go down, I went up. I was not paying attention. Somebody. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. This guy. My friend Tythonis, would you care for a plate of roast carcal? Yes, I would. Some muled wine? Yes, mm. I would. No, I... Wait, I said yes! I said yes, and he said I said <laughs> no. I'm so confused. Aw. But nice to have, like, a choice there. But, yeah, I'd like to... I'd like someone. I'd sit down and have a meal with you. Look at the size of this bear skin rug. <laughs> It is, it is huge. It's humongous. <laughs> it is huge. I never noticed that before. That is massive. That is a giant bear. Or that thing would. That thing, oh, yeah, I mean, it looks kind of like a bear, but who knows? That thing it would probably. Like a bear. Thing would probably rip your head off and look at his claws. Look at his claws. Yeah. It's, it's as big as me. Yeah. Then again, I've fought dragons, so. Mm. Knocked circlet. Kind of cool looking. I kind of like that. I'm going to keep that. Oh, wait. What's this one? Gloam Coif? That does not look cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Is this, a, is this a talking one? See, Mom, is it talking? I don't hear anything. I know you don't. The incident with oh, the new frontier hands? I'm going to mute. No, no. You need not elaborate. 
I have been following their progress with no small amount of interest. Brave men and women all. They do our nation a great service. The existence of a fortified outpost in Mordona will do much to dissuade the Empire from trespassing on Curtha's soil. Right glad am I that you have chosen to lend your support to this endeavor. Never let it be said that House Fort Tom does not acknowledge the efforts of her allies or her debts. Twas in the spirit of gratitude that I arranged for sundry supplies to be delivered to Revenant's Toll. That the shipment should chance to be waylaid by heretics is poor fortune indeed. Poor fortune, I say, yet not without precedent. If you would know the truth of it, these incorrigible villains grow more organized with each passing day. This new unity of purpose we attribute to their leader, the Lady Iceheart. But though I have devoted significant resources to the task of identifying this woman, we have yet to learn so much as her birth name. What we do know is that the heretics speak of Iceheart in reverent tones, and would gladly embrace <clears throat> death rather than betray her. Such loyalty is rare indeed, and I fear to imagine what so committed a collective might achieve. The brigands have not yet been so brazen as to risk direct confrontation here in Dragonhead. Some few of their number have, however, been sighted not far to the west of here, and with ever-increasing regularity. A visit to Whitebrim Front may bring you the answers you seek. Will you brave the snows, knowing what implacable foes may lie in wait? Of course. Hello, nay's blessings be upon you. Though I take no pride in the admission. Many of mine own countrymen are not so well suited as you adventurers to dealing with such foes. Were they dragons? I do have a, it might be otherwise. The, sand, the power of Santa on my side right now, so it's perfect. But truly, I could not wish for a finer ally. You have done much for my house in the past, and I have no doubt but that I shall have cause to celebrate your deeds again ere long. Should you learn aught of value, Pray return to me forthwith. A warm hearth and a warmer welcome shall be waiting for you. Okay. That was funny, because he's like talking to me, right? He's all serious about this uh, this I gotta go like go investigate this stuff in the snowies, the snowy mountains and stuff. He's like, it's gonna be dangerous. And he looks at me and it focuses on my character. And <laughs> I'm just decked out in nice Santa beard and stuff. <laughs> He's like, are he's you like, sure hey, you can do maybe it? Maybe I you, should do somebody you, else. You know? Yeah, he's like, are you sure you can do it? My guy like gives a little head nod, and I'm like, yeah, it's okay. I'm I've got my Santa gear on. I'm okay. Your battle Santa gear. You got my battle Santa gear. I'm fine. It's just funny. He's like, it's just this serious thing, and I'm just like decked out. And I got this beard. And it's funny. Yeah. So if I finish these two, so I gotta finish this one, and then there's one more after okay. this. Then I'll be all done with the uh, Defenders of Yours, and then I'll be on Dreams of Ice. And then it's like two or three into that one, and then it's on yours, I think. Yeah. And that's a, that you guys are at a dungeon or a trial or something? Is that right? Yeah. The instruments are of our deliverance. Confront Shiva in the Ock off, oh. off, off, off uh, Amphitheater. I forgot I could fly for a second. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering what you were doing. I'm just like, okay. I just, I forget that I can fly. He's in the mood to run. Dwight needs to stretch his legs every once in a while. Some above? Or can I go up? Can I literally fly up here and talk to the person? No, it's down below. What am I going? I'm stupid. I've forgotten how to game. I've lost my gamer skill. Oh, it's over here. Okay, I remember the spot. He's like inside. Well, my plan is by next year, the Christmas event, I should be a Dark Knight by then. Then I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be Dark Battle Santa. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a whole new thing. By the Fury, do you, you seem destined to cross paths with those villains. We gotta question some victims. 
victims of what? Attack. By whom? Don't know. Okay. Oh. Speak with. Okay. Speak with the mistreated merchant. That's what we've got to do now. Okay. Mistreated merchant. He's like over. Or they're like over here somewhere. Are they down here? I think. Are they up above? It might be up above. I forgot that Z was dismount quickly. Oh, is it? Yeah, for me it is. Anyway, if I hit Z, it dismounts quickly. Oh, I like that. I didn't know that. I'll have to yeah. do that. Because I'm like, oh, let me go over here and click. <laughs> Yeah, I found that a while back, and I kind of just forgot it was, because it's been a while since I played, actually. Taking everything. So was then one of them noticed my bleary gaze and stalked over to better acquaint my head with his mace. Before darkness claimed me, however, I distinctly heard the words, Return to Snowcloak. I dare say this is where they were hauling my goods, but you'll not catch me rushing off in pursuit. So it was a miracle I survived it all. My His thick skull saved his life. It's funny. <laughs> um. Okay, we gotta go down here, Mom. You coming? Yep, I'm behind you. Okay. I'm gonna fly. I don't think it'll make that much of a difference right now. Keep me out of combat, I guess. Yeah. Usually nothing messes with you, though. Usually not, yeah. That's right here. It's cool. Oh. What? Oh. Oh, there. Okay, they're not, uh, they were not very tough. That's right. Okay. So now we need to go back to... Um, <coughs> door. Door's still there. Oh, okay, now we go, we keep going forward, okay. Oh, this is where I had that quest where, oh, look at that thing. Oh, that thing's disgusting. Oh, those things are so gross. Oh, I hate those things. I'm, I'm not going to fight them. I'm going to fly above them. I'm not fighting anything. Oh, there's a fate. We could do the fate. We could. Uh, sure, let's do it. I think the 45. What are we supposed to do? Um, I don't know. Kill these things? Or we'll kill a Sevek. Okay, we have to kill Sevek. Gotta kill Sevec. the big guy. Kill the big guy, Mom. Yeah. No, it's Azure. Oh, I don't care, Mom. Oh. <laughs> Get him, Dwight. I forget about bringing Dwight out on these things. There's an ice spirit attacking Creed. Yes. Insane. It'll be all right. Dead. 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 My chocobo. Oh. oh, my health. Oh, it's because I sink back up. Okay. Um, 
Bless you. Uh, I saved my recording, so they didn't have to hear me. But thank you. Draw your weapon, foul. Wait, I recognize you, adventure. You are coming seeking heretics? Yes. Looks like he's naked. And he's got a frog head on as well. Must be the champion of Eorzea. Surely. He just said it's chilly outside. Oh, I can't reply to him because Thanks. it's a cutscene. He's shooting you with a. Uh, it's okay. I just I replied okay. to him. Hello. Yes. <laughs> I'm talk to the naked guy. Let me give him a hug. How are you? Yeah. It's probably a twelve-year-old. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Passes through the frozen wall, some hidden tunnel that escaped our notice. Alright. So we gotta speak with Drillmon now. So we gotta go back to. I guess we gotta fly. This is our best bet, Mom. Okay. Here we go. Flying saves so much time because you can like skip like no. going through like the these like tunnels. Yep. Pretty great. I think it's funny whenever you enter a zone where you're like faster. Because like they're like they're like your truck was flying like normally, and then all of a sudden he's flying really fast. Flying here? Oh, you can. It's not really beneficial, but okay. Put aside your mission and consider the stolen pro provisions lost to us for now. Um, pray return to Dragonhead and inform. Lord of your discoveries, he will wish to plan contingencies of his own. That's right. Can't be shielded from battle, Santa, for long. Okay. Now we gotta go back to Camp Dragonhead. I will teleport us. Okay. Uh, back down here. Remember the first time I came here, I was all really low level. Mm -hmm. There you go, Orphant. Orphant? Orphant? Oh, is this dialogue again? Hold on. Your return is most timely. I want to mute. Of their own accord, my thoughts had turned to your task and the progress thereof. <coughs> I confess, my imaginings <coughs> tended toward the grim and bloody. But you are here now, and I suspect such frivolous wonderings do little justice to the reality of your travails. Tell me, what did you learn of Iceheart? Indeed, and this transpired at Snowcloak. Of all the highlands, that towering wall has borne the worst of the region's brutal shift in climate. So inhospitable has Snowcloak become that we have still to survey the area in its entirety. Could its frozen heights conceal the heretic's hideaway? Mayhap a more robust reconnaissance effort is in order. Putting such considerations aside for the moment, we still know far too little of this ice heart. That she is capable of commanding such a band of fanatics bespeaks natural authority and no small measure of charisma. As much as I would like to fathom this mystery with you, 
The situation has grown beyond my personal purview. I am bound by duty to inform the Temple Knights and request that they bring this matter to its conclusion. Giving the glowing reports the new commander has garnered thus far, I am certain that they can be relied upon to take appropriate action. Though Iceheart's true identity yet eludes us, you have provided us with a point from which to begin. Sometimes it takes but a single stone to prompt an avalanche. On the matter of the stolen provisions, I have already made arrangements for a second shipment to be sent to Revenant's Toll. I could not well allow such an honorable venture to be undermined by one miserable setback. Man, I remember when I first came here to Ishgard and talked to all these people here, how much they hated me. Do you remember that? Oh, they were like jerks. Yeah, yes. they were like total jerks to me. And then like, you know, we did all that crap for them and stuff. And now coming back here, they're like, oh, hello, Tythonus, yeah. you're truly great. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I know. But yeah, it's funny. So I got it. So basically we're on this like path to find out who Iceheart is and these snow cloaks are. Is essentially what's going on. Okay. As we get closer to um, Heaven Sword, I've noticed there's more. Um, there's a lot more like uh, uh, vocal dialogue than there was before. All right, we're I going to Mordona Revenant's Toll, Mom. Oh, okay. I'm teleporting us there now. And I think this is the end part of this one. And then there's one more after this, and then we're into the next set. Let's see. <coughs> Slavborn. How fared you in the frozen wastes of Corthus? Oh, that's my favorite place. Okay. Brave new pins. Okay, yeah, this is the last one here. Last one of, of uh... Defenders of Eorzea. What are these? Yeah. Try one. That's goofy. That's also goofy. That's even more goofy. I kind of like that one though. You can't wear it though. Shoot. Okay. Head to the Rising Stones and see if your frantic receptionist could do with a hand. Okay, we gotta go speak with Tataru. Remember when you had a lot more health than me for a while, Mom? Mm hmm Tataru. I like how she's always standing on like a, like a chair or stool or something. These parts need to be sorted. All these documents, why are they even here? A woman so already attempted to file a lot of them in my waste paper basket. Yeah, don't you feel? Uh, wish you lend a hand. Splendid. Am I gonna sort papers? Yes, let's go. I gotta get some uh, uniforms to new recruits. Oh, okay. Wonder if the Scions will ever have matching uniforms. A well-funded organization is well-dressed unit organization, I suppose. <coughs> That'd be kind of funny. There should be a quest that we all have to match. All the scions. That'd be funny. We'll get a tattoo, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it looks like it's just outside? Yeah. Okay. You, you, Haas. You, you, Haas. Uniform. Boom. Okay, I gotta hand out uniforms, Mom. Alright. Just battle Santa, as you know. always. He's battling. You know what he's battling right now? No, Battle Santa's battling. Uh, lack of clothing. Lack of fashion. Lack of fashion. Oh. <laughs> Wilred. There you go, Wilred. The extra cloth and time. Yeah, it's funny. 
because he's got like one of those he's got like one of the uh the og um heavy armor pieces where like your chest is exposed oh. i've had that before this thing will cut off the blood to me head <laughs> wait oh there's right here this is where we're jumping off and try to kill ourselves remember mom yes not really kill ourselves but jump on the square I wonder what it feels like that's gotta be for something, you know? It feels weird. What? The, the squares. Those little like yeah, the little it just feels like they're there for something, you know? Mm. Dilbert. Here's your suit, my guy. The uniforms are a shrewd decision. Oh. He's not a fan he doesn't seem to be a fan of the uniforms. No, well, too bad, my guy. Put it on. There's somebody over here, too. I missed somebody over here, Mom. Oh, right here. F of me. That was a cool name, actually. Sounds like a bad word. Really? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I guess, yes. I, I guess, yes. Okay. The word that would get you flagged on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Laurentius. Oh, Laurentius. My guy, Laurentius. <laughs> He's just mimicking everybody else. <laughs> okay. Gotta speak with Alfie again. There's like part of me, and I'm sure you know more of it, so you can't spoil it. But there's part of me that feels like Alfie knows a lot more, a whole lot more than he's letting on. Like a whole lot. Know what I mean? Yeah. Just like, he's got this feeling, you know, like his sister was around and then she wasn't around. And then Alfie's just been involved and like he's like 16 or whatever. He's, I mean, he's still a young elf, right? El Elizen, right? But he knows a whole lot of stuff. A whole lot of stuff. Like, it's like he's older than what he really is. Yeah, almost, right. Or, or he definitely, he, de like he, he definitely, he definitely belongs to a family that knows a lot of things that has been around for a long time. And he's mm -hmm. been listening. I don't doubt his intelligence. I think he's smart. Okay. I just think he he probably knows more than he should know as like a young Elizabeth. Right. Are you still here? Yeah, I'm still here in Mordona. I'm talking okay. to I'm talking to Alfie right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's 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 is he dialogue actual voice dialogue now? Hold on. There's my Santa gear. Comrades, oh, actual dialogue. your presence here this day signifies the momentous choice that each of you has made. With your strength now pledged to the scions of the Seventh Dawn, you are beholden to no single nation. You stand as the vanguard for a united Eorzea. From this moment forth, I declare you crystal braves. Let us mend this fractured realm and face our enemies as one. <laughs> Whether it be Crystal the beastmen and their primals, Crystal or the conflict in Cartano, it is plain uh, that the nations of Eorzea cannot like solve the problems which plague the realm. Thus, Talk does it fall right to some few heroic souls to succeed where they have failed? Come! Take your place at the Scion's side as guardians of Eorzea, and together we shall fight for the freedom of all! For the freedom of all! Crystal Braves, for the freedom of all. Okay. Yeah, they're all like wearing like the, the Flame Legion stuff, the Flame Legion ar armor that I would see. Anyways, it probably call it looks the same for everybody, but it's blue. 
<laughs> a rousing speech, Alphano. Oh, my talking. Or should I say, Crystal Brave Commander Levier? Levier? Please, Antecedent. The title is honorary. I shall not be leading the troops into battle, as it were. We are of the same purpose. Let us join hands I was and say, do what must be done to save the, this the land. Troops into battle. As always, as battle Santa. Well, yeah. The scions stand ready. Now more than anything. Head nod. Yes. I always head nod, but I'm like, why? Why me? I guess it's because I'm the most, uh... Your own dirty work. <laughs> the most prepared. I've, I've defeated primals and all that junk, so... Only makes sense. I'm eager to see what the oh, Crystal another, Brave another might another accomplish. More dialogue. Wow. This shall prove an interesting time indeed for the Scions. Yeah, well... Oh, I'm getting a call. Yes, oh, she's getting a I'm call listening. Me. So our worst fears are confirmed. The entire Isle... Such power defies comprehension. Is another island def de Truly? just destroyed? Cryle is alive? Thank the Twelve. I see. Pray, inform me if her condition changes. Yes, I shall pass on your words to Orianger. Orianger. My thanks. I shall contact you anon. When I learned of the loss of the Isle of Val, I dared not hope that my friend had survived. Yet, by some miracle, it would seem she has. She's still to regain consciousness, it is true, but better that than death. Putting this happy news to one side, we must now endeavor to make sense of the readings taken by the survey party. Okay. It appears the etheric disturbance which accompanied the Isle's destruction is of a magnitude alarmingly close to that of Ultima. Oh, really? Okay. Could the Asians be responsible for this devastation as well? <coughs> I wonder. Have you heard aught from the Mother Crystal since the battle with the Garleans? No, I haven't, actually. That's kind of an interesting question. Then she question. speaks to neither one of us. Heidelin's silence portends not but ill, I fear. I didn't realize that, but that's true. Louis Soir. I pray you yet watch over us. I didn't really think about it until Menphilia just mentioned it, but um, she asked if I've heard anything from the Mother Crystal of Hydaelyn since the Battle of the Garleans, so with like Gaius and stuff, and I haven't. I didn't even think about it, but I haven't. Well, how do you hear from her? I thought we didn't really hear from her until no, but like, like you know, no, you know, like normally we'd have like a like a uh like we'd be fighting or something, and she'd like hear, feel, think, yes. and she'd pull, like there or she'd pull you in after like a battle. I haven't, we haven't had that happen. Uh -uh. See the provisions are prepared. I figured for it's because we like found all the crystals. Yeah, but uh, it's weird though because she like like well no, oh, hold on, let me finish this dialogue here. Okay. I have, a th I have a thought. Oh. Harfond here. Or Harfond? 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 That Harfond. guy. The winds are uncommon fierce this day. Yeah, they are. Is that, Ish is that the... Is that Ishgard? Or not Ishgard, but the... Uh, the capital? It's cool looking, though. What is this? Looks like some kind of cathedral. I love Corthus. I love this aesthetic so much. It's so neat looking. Oh, look at that guy. He's an old Elzin. He's got a giant beard. Oh, he looks like a... He's got a small... Big beard. He looks kind of like a... What's his name? That we fought. Ramu. Yeah, Ramu. Oh, there's an Asian behind him. Oh, there's another one. Oh. He's got two behind him. Wait, what was the... Oh, shoot. There's something going on at the Capitol, Mom. <coughs> it's 
Traitor in the midst. Okay. Wait, what am I on now? What, what quest am I on right now? Just got, uh... Traitor in the midst. One second here. Oh, okay, I just started Dreams of Ice. Okay. Give me one second. Are you gonna be up for a little bit more or no? Mother? Yes. Okay. One second. All right, so that concludes Defenders of, a of Eorzea, <coughs> and we're moving on to the next set, Dreams of Ice, I believe. So, yeah, some things are uh, getting a little interesting here. I don't know, uh, don't know what's happening uh, yet, but we'll we'll get through it. Um, yeah, so. And the next one, I would continue to, uh, I'll continue to do the MSQ, uh, probably with mom. Uh, we'll see how far I can get before I call it a night. But yeah, we're, uh, learning some interesting stuff here. Um, I think I've got to do, oh, like four or five missions in the next one to get to the next dungeon, possibly. <coughs> but yeah. With that, um, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Um, I wish you all a Merry Christmas. I know we're getting close to that time. I really appreciate everyone watching and commenting and helping out. It's been uh, it's been a good time. I really uh, I really enjoy um, everyone's words of encouragement um, during this time. There's a lot of things on my mind. There's a lot of things on everyone's mind. I'm sure. Uh, but it really makes uh, it's really nice to uh, to have everybody watching. So yeah. Anyways, uh, please don't forget to leave a like, uh, comment, share with family that you might think uh, would enjoy the content or friends, and subscribe if you could. It does help the channel out. And hit that bell to be notified of new episodes. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.